Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with the summer transfer move to Arsenal. Very frustrating game yesterday. Nil-nil draw against Leicester City. Uh, I thought for spells of the game, we played really well, particularly in the first half. Really, really good football at times, but just no cutting edge. The lack of a striker up front really showed up yesterday. And in the end, you know, the fans at the end, about the last five minutes of the game, became really frustrated. Uh, chance of spend some effing money. Chance of Wenger out. I mean, it's the second game of the season and we're already hearing stuff like that. And I think a lot of it is really because of the frustration of the lack of transfer activity from Arsenal. That is what is causing all the sort of boiling points at the moment because if you really think about it you know a point away at Leicester the champions remember the champions yeah a point away at Leicester is not bad it's not a bad result um I know we lost our first game but it's not a bad result their first game at home it was like a party move for them their fans were really up for it you know they had the uh, banners and everything before the game announcing that they're the champions you know, they were absolutely buzzing and their players were really up for it. It was like a cup final atmosphere. So to cope with that and the way that Arsenal played was good, but we just didn't have the cutting edge. And that, I think, is what led to fans starting to um, come up with those chants. As I said, because of the lack of signings, particularly a striker. Why have we not addressed that? And Arsene Wenger, in his press conference afterwards, was very, very upset about you know, people asking him about money, you know, and uh, some of his uh, quotes after the game, he said, he goes, if I buy um, you tomorrow for 45 million, that means I bought you for 45 million. Have I done well? Yes, if I listen to you, I will have done well because I've spent the money. That is not quality buying a, t that is not quality. Buying a top player, that is different. We are ready to do that. I will spend 300 million if I find the player and if I have the 300 million, right? That's what he said. Um, not to forget as well that we are a club who has 60, 600 employees who we need to have a responsible attitude to as well. It's a bit surprising that you come out of football games and you don't speak about football. All you speak about is money. Now, I'm sorry to say that the reason why these uh, reporters are coming out and speaking about money is because it is the subject that's on every single fan's lips. And I really feel that it's self-inflicted by Arsenal and Arsene Wenger because why have we not done our business early? I do understand and appreciate the fact that there are a lack of real top quality players out there that are available this season. Um, we see teams like Chelsea struggling at the moment to buy a striker. They're off the striker as well. They're really struggling. But I really think it's self-inflicted. I just feel that Arsenal could have got some business done. We've left it late. It's Again, it's just like a mirror of last year. And this is what's caused the frustration amongst the fans. And instead of us going into these games and really be bouncing and hopeful, we're going into these games with so much frustration that's just ready to boil over if it goes wrong and that's not right at this stage of the season at this stage of the season a nil nil draw isn't it's not the end of the world we should be happy we should not happy happy is the wrong word but we shouldn't be as down as we are at the moment and it's just very toxic at the moment and i think it's self-inflicted it didn't have to be this way if we had made the signings that was required. The only positive I'd say was um, yesterday he was asked about Mustafi and for the first time Arsene Wenger admitted that the Mustafi deal is close to happening. Um, he confirmed that himself. He said, Mustafi, we hope it will be done. We're struggling to find players we need. He's one of a number of players that we're looking at. Negotiations are ongoing. And again, why is it taking so long? I Listen, one of the things that when I spoke to um, Ivan Gazidis was he goes, we're not as fans privy to how complicated some of these deals can be. But I don't know, the Mustafi thing seems more complicated than the Pogba deal. And we're only talking about 20 millions here. 
So it's just so frustrating as an Arsenal fan to see these things dragging on. And hopefully we can get it done. Although I've got to say, Rob Holding yesterday played brilliantly. When he was put alongside Koscielny, who I thought was absolutely brilliant yesterday. When alongside a player like that, Rob Holding was, you know, for a young player, we have signed a really top player there. And Wenger was quick to point that out, that, you know, nobody's talking about Holding. And he's like, oh, you, you're not talking about him because we only spent two million on him and he didn't cost 40 million. All right, Mr. Wenger, good point to make because he was an excellent... He, he looks to me like he has been... An, he's going to be an excellent signing. Mohamed El Naini for only five million was an excellent signing. There's nothing wrong with that. But go out and get your business done early, you know? Get it done early and bring in that top quality early and then we this all of this would have been avoided. But hopefully Mustafi gets done soon. There's all, also in the press conference, um, Arsene Wenger com, confirmed that um, Takana Asano... Um, Takama Asano, should I say, um, of course, who was signed, the Japanese player from San Fris, Hiroshima. He's only 21. We all know about him. Again, another signing that Arsenal Wenger is coming for a lot of criticism about. Signed um, this striker. He confirmed Arsene Wenger that he's going to have to go out on loan because they failed to get a work permit for him. So he's not even going to play this season, which I kind of knew anyway. But that's our, the one striker that we've signed. And, again, he's bemoaning the fact that he can't find the quality out there, strikers, etc. Now, oh, I, I don't know. You know, Lacazette now, Leon sitting there, they're rubbing their hands. They're either going to keep hold of him or they're going to get a wad for him because his price has gone sky high now that he's scored five goals in two games. So if Arsenal do try and bring in a guy... Um, like Lacazette, it's going to cost loads and loads of money. Whereas if we would have gone earlier, which we did go, we, we went earlier with a bit of nearly 30 million. But if we'd have come back earlier with a bigger sum, maybe, just maybe we would have got that done. And then after that, you look at it and you say, well, what, what other striker is out there at the moment that we could bring in? I mean, some fans yesterday, they were so desperate. A fan behind me in the game was saying to me, why not go for Balotelli? Which I was like, are you what? <laughs> That's how desperate we're getting. I mean, even I see today that Lukaku's come out and said that, you know, he's looking to stay at Everton. So it's really hard to shift these players because it was thought that he's going to move to Chelsea. It looks like he's going to stay at Everton for at least another year. So Lukaku, Slimani, is he good enough for Arsenal? Sporting Lisbon, you know, there's just a lack of... You know, strikers out there at the moment, unless you try to go for the one of the real, real big boys. And at the moment, none of those big clubs look like they're selling their strikers because they know that they won't be able to replace them. So I'm really not sure where Arsenal are going to get a striker from. And certainly over the two games that we've seen, the experiment with Alexis up front just doesn't seem to work. He doesn't look like a striker to me. He wants to be involved in the game a lot. And you could see that yesterday again, very poor from Alexis because it's just not his position playing as a striker. Um, linked today with Yassine Brahimi. Um, he plays for Porto, a midfielder, can also, well, he's a midfielder, winger really, uh, Algerian, born in France. He's been linked with uh, Arsenal heavily today, also linked with Liverpool and Chelsea. Uh, a very, very talented player, excellent player, by the way. Uh, Porto are willing to sell him for. 40 million pounds again look at the fees that are being spoken about for these guys um but Brahimi is a, a, a top rated player but is that what Arsenal need another winger I mean we've got Joel Campbell who we're apparently going to sell out on send out on loan that's not what we need we need a striker but who is that striker going to be I really don't know time is running out the vibes is not good at Arsenal at the moment and I don't know, I think that if we could pull off some sort of marquee signing before the end of that transfer window, maybe things could change. But at the moment, it's just making things toxic and I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. What do you guys think? You know, I'll ask you guys the question. Give me a striker alternative out there. Not Lacazette, right? I know about Lacazette and we know what it will cost or <laughs> the regions of what it will cost. Although that's going up by the minute. Not Lacazette. Give me a striker at the moment who you think Arsenal could get. 
all right? And I'll go through some of those tomorrow and try and see if there's somebody in there that would be a good striker for Arsenal to get. It doesn't even have to be, for me, somebody that is like one of those world-class strikers already. It's somebody who we could buy who could become world-class. Give me one of those. Leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching AFTV Transfer Daily. Don't forget to check out all of our videos from yesterday. Some good stuff. And we'll be back around about the same time tomorrow. Hopefully with some news on Mustafi.